Alright, today I'm going to be going over the best settings for the Panasonic Lumix GH3, some of the settings that you need before you record, and then some of the settings that you need for during your shot. For all of these settings, make sure you're in uh, this manual video mode here. So you have your um, aperture priority, and then you have your shutter priority, uh, complete manual exposure, which is what I use the most of the time, and then you have the program, which is the um, uh, normal kind of uh, automatic exposure. Let's jump into the menu. That's just that uh, menu button there in the control ring. Go to photo style. This applies to all of these presets. Drop the contrast to negative two, the sharpness to negative two, saturation to negative four, and noise reduction to negative two. Um, and uh, that's kind of the best way to do it. You can go a little bit variable from there. I might go three here and then bump this back up to three. Um, I keep mine at natural just because it makes the most sense. Um, sometimes I'll switch it over to custom, but something like that, and then you can set that. So let's say you're shooting in manual. Here's how you're going to jump to all of your different uh, settings and controls. Just hit this F2 button. You can map that later, but I like how it is there right right by my thumb. Uh, and it's a, it's a touch screen, so you can just kind of go wherever you want. But ISO, don't, don't go over 3200 with the Micro Four Thirds sensor here. Um, and then shutter speed. Uh, you'll usually want to ke keep it at 50 for the 180 rule. Shutter speed, double the frame rate. If I'm at 24 frames per second, keep it at 50. Um, and then aperture, I usually like to go as low as I can, um, so let's go 4.0 for a nice shallow depth of field, and then, uh, yeah, so that's, that's that, and then we're at manual focus here, um, and then if you, uh, just use this, this knob here right next to the viewfinder, and you can switch over to autofocus there, and then jump into the settings menu, you can select, um, your different autofocus kind of, Points. You can do face detection, uh, autofocus tracking, 23 area, which is useless, one area, and then, uh, yeah, those, those are different modes. But now let's get into kind of the recording um, frame rates and resolutions that you'll want to do. So jump into your menu system, go to record mode. Uh, AVCHD is the best for um, kind of like TV or like a news report, something like that. There's not many reasons to use it. MP4, that's what GoPros record in. It's it's okay, but like it's it's not going to give you the most options. MOV is the best usually, but that's what I'm going to keep it at. So then go down to your recording quality here. I keep it at MOV, 24 uh, frames per second. And then if you want to jump it over to uh, like a slow motion, so then I'll go to 60p. Um, and keep in mind, uh, that is going to, uh, down res it to 720, but if you go to MP4 at 60 frames per second, then you can go, uh, at full HD. So those are kind of the frame rates and stuff that you'll need to do. Uh, lastly, we'll talk about how to focus this camera. So, default, this camera does something that's super nice. It, um, will zoom in so check this out let me flip it over to manual focus here so you can i mean you can't really there's not a whole lot that we have in the background but let's just take this cable here um so when we start trying to focus it it automatically uh jumps in and then now you can tell in detail what your image is and so then adjust it from this landscape to macro kind of thing adjust it there until it's super sharp a uh, few other things that you might want is a histogram. Histogram tells you your lighting situation. So um, all the way to the left is your blacks and all the way to the right is your whites. And you, you want to keep it very balanced. Usually if you're going for a balanced look, it's dark in here so it's mostly pushed to the left. But that's something I keep. Um, then there's this cool TIE Fighter looking thing. So if you take the camera and move it, there's these lines which help balance your uh, like skyline if you're shooting landscape or something, but that's kind of helpful. So then you just kind of go like that and you can rock it back and see if you're 
like in check there. This camera is a prosumer, so there's a lot of menus and it's hard to navigate through, but that hopefully helps you. A lot of buttons and knobs. Take a while to figure it out. Um, and and you'll have it soon. Thank you guys for watching this, and I hope you can figure out your GH3. Oh,